Yeah, I'm Tom from Mr. Petman. I've got a small cat enclosure building business in Canberra. When we are looking for a new home, our new home was in a cat containment suburb. Um, so the very first thing I did, even before we moved in, was to you know, build the enclosure for, for Bojangles. And then there was a series of other kind of events where I was sort of wanting to try something different. So, and I certainly like, you know, working outdoors with animals, being a bit creative, designing things. So I thought, well, you know, I built one, <laughs> maybe I can, I can build some more. And surprisingly, I, you know, I thought initially that most of my customers would be in cat containment suburbs, but that hasn't proved to be true. My, the vast majority of my clients are from non-cat containment areas. In terms of benefits, you know, I mean, you say, well, you know, what are the benefits of any enclosure? So, I mean, they're benefits for, for the cats, right? Because the statistics show that contained cats live up to four times longer than, than cats that roam free. So, and that's a significant um, extra length to their lifespan. I mean, we had a cat that was run over and it's not a very pleasant experience to go through. Uh, also, you know, they are less subject to illness, disease, fights, and, and you know, being run over. So, so in terms of, for cats, you know, what they, what they lose in, in, in freedom, as it were, um, you know, they gain in, in many, many other ways. So, and in terms of owners, well, you know, owners get peace of mind because they always know that they, where they cat in and it's safe. Uh, they also know that they're not going to upset neighbours. So from an owner's perspective, you know, knowing where their cat is and it's safe all the time is, is, a, is, a, is a positive, as well as reducing vet bills. So I've, you know, I've installed quite a few enclosures where the you owner's know, cat has just been you know, involved in a fight or, and has had to go to the vet and has had a massive bill. Um, um, so, you know, you're reducing the likelihood of that. And then, you know, the last one is for the environment. So, you know, the benefits where fauna, fauna is not subject to, to um, you know, predation uh, and, and, and threat and harm from, from the cat. So, so, you know, across various levels, um, there are benefits um, of containing cats. The first thing one does is uh, an assessment because, you know, as you say, no, no two homes are alike. So, you know, it can vary from people living in an apartment to, you know, a townhouse to a freestanding house. Um, so the first thing is just to assess, you know, what kind of a property it is, you know, what kind of access, both for the humans and for the cats, um, you know, whether they, you know, there are any obstacles that one's got to include. Sometimes people want, a, you know, a tree, you know, it's part of the enclosure. Um, so, yeah, there's a variety of things that, that one looks at including how many cats they actually have as well and then um, yeah we you know base uh, a design on those considerations and and also what the, the client needs are and then you know the, the more complex it becomes and the larger it becomes it um, the more uh, costly it becomes so I mean you can range from freestanding uh, cat enclosures, which are made out of net, or you can um, go to welded wire mesh free, um, uh, enclosures, and there are a number of companies in Australia that build those type of enclosures. And um, 
you know, they come in kit form, so it's a bit like going to IKEA and you know buying a kit and uh, you you put it together. Um, and then also, well, the other one is to to build purpose built, so that they. Uh, I mean, part of my philosophy is that you know, with if it's a part of your family, uh, you want to sort of integrate. You know the cat enclosure space with your own living spaces so it's not a question or well, that's the cat space and this is our space uh, in some instances you know that's what owners want but I sort of favor a more integrated um, um, solution where you can because a lot of the time you want to spend time with your cat and the cat wants to spend time with you so um, um, and then the, one of the key things is, is the cat has its own access to come in and out. So one of the downsides of the freestanding ones is that you would maybe have to go and carry the cat in or out, which um, you know, is all right for a day or two, but after a while it gets a bit uh, impractical. So, and cats do like their independence, so to come and go as they, they please, uh, is important. He uses it every day because his litter box is in there. So, I mean, that's one of the, also one of the, well, the benefit of having a, uh, an outdoor cat enclosure is you get the litter box outside and that's, for a lot of owners, that's, you know, a priority. So in terms of him using it, come rain, <laughs> wind or shine, he's out there every day because, you know, his litter box is there. And um, and then, you know, when it's a, it's a nice day and particularly in summer, he will he will go out there because, you know, he's got, he's got lawn, he's got bushes, they are plants, and, you know, they like the, the, the scents and the smells and the textures of the, of the plant. So, and it's his own little, you know, his own space. So it's not as if, um, you know, you build these things and they're never used because, as I said in the start, particularly if the litter box is there, they'll be out, um, you know, at least once a day, if not more. It's a cat door. Um, it's, just, it's, you know, very important for... Um, the cats can come and go as they please. This is the netting, um, which is sort of 19 millimeter square. It's very, being black, it's hardly noticeable. Um, and also, you know, one of the questions clients ask is, well, will I feel caged in? But I think you can, you know, see and agree that you don't feel caged in at all. And it does, it's, you know, it's got a, a life going, well, it's got a guarantee of about 10 years plus. All right, so this is the, the, litter, the litter box. Um, so I use um, children's playground sand, which you can buy at Bunnings. And I mean, that's one of the, the biggest benefits of having an outdoor cat enclosure. You get the, the litter tray you know, outdoors and the cat can come and do their business any, any time they want. And then some cats do like to, to climb and sit and look over fences so uh, one can build these little climbing climbing platforms as well. Uh, and then in terms of access, you know, you either have a gate or one of the zippers that are built into